Hello and welcome to my video review on KitKat, the latest Android release from Google. I have installed KitKat on my new Nexus 7 using the over-the-air update given by Google. You can see that here. So I'll go to settings and about the tablet, you can see the Android version as 4.4 and this version is known as the KitKat version. Now I'll tap on the version several times. You will get the letter K for KitKat. Just tap on that to get the Android logo screen. If you tap again on this KitKat screen, you will see an interesting animation of the logos of the previous Android releases such as Cupcake, Donut, Eclair, Froyo, Gingerbread, Honeycomb, Ice Cream Sandwich and the Jelly Bean. You know that all Android versions are given tasty names of desserts. So this is the time to taste KitKat. One of the major feature of KitKat is a hidden feature. It's not seen in any of the menus. It's nothing but the implementation of Project Svelte. The meaning of Svelte is slender and elegant. So let's see how Google has made KitKat a slender and elegant operating system. In Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, Google has implemented Project Butter initiative to get a quick and buttery smooth touch experience. But this was at the expense of enhancing the hardware requirements significantly. So to get a real silky smooth touch experience, we need an Android device with quad-core processor and 1 GB RAM. In Android 4.4 KitKat, Google has implemented Project Svelte initiative which will make this OS run faster and smoother on low-range handsets with 512 MB RAM and dual-core processors as well as on wearable Google devices such as smartwatch, Google Glass, etc. Now, let's see the advantages of Project Svelte implementation in the Android OS. Only the required component of the Android loads into the memory and the applications will get more free memory space. We get faster and more accurate screen response. Applications use less and effective use of memory and we get better multitasking that is one major advantage we also get improved battery life and crash protection and hence google has cut down that extra fat which has accumulated along with the operating system while implementing the project butter and the project svelte has made the kitkat a slender and elegant operating system because of which it can be installed in a variety of low-end android devices as well as in a number of futuristic android devices next interesting feature of kitkat is the implementation of ok google functionality in google search and in google now in KitKat, you can just say OK Google to launch the voice search, send text messages, make calls, launch an Android application, get directions and even to play a song. The next interesting feature of KitKat is the cloud printing. Using this feature, we can print a document, an image or a web page to a cloud printer or to a local printer which is configured for cloud printing from anywhere, anytime. You can check out google.com slash cloudprint to get the list of printers supporting cloud printing from various manufacturers. Please see my exclusive video on cloud printing to know the procedure to configure the Google Chrome for cloud printing. Now I'll go to settings option in Nexus 7. There, there is an option called printing. I'll select that option. There I can see that the cloud print is on. When I click on Cloud Print, I'll see the same list of printers which were configured in the Google Chrome of the computer which is connected with the printers. Now I'll go to Gallery and I'll select a photograph which is captured using the camera. Just select the menu in the upper right corner. There you will see the print option. Just select that and you will see the printers which are configured in the Google Chrome. You can also control the various parameters related with printing such as number of copies, paper size, orientation, etc. I'll select the printer and I'll tap on the print. That's it. Now you will get the printout no matter where you are. The next KitKat feature is the immersive mode. I'll go to Google Playbook app and I'll open an ebook. 
immersive mode hides everything except what you actually want to see you will get this mode when you read a book play a game or watch a movie just tap on the screen to get the status bar and navigation buttons hence you will get maximum screen space utilization in kitkat the next android 4.4 feature is full screen album art and lock screen controls let me play a music by launching the music app now you can see the album art of that particular song and i'll just play the song by tapping on the play button now i am going to lock the screen by pressing on the lock button now i'll press once more on the same button to unlock it now you can see the full screen album art on the screen and you will also see some navigation buttons for playing the song for pausing it for going back to the start as well as to go to the end when you tap and hold on any of these navigation buttons you will get a seek bar using which you can reach on to any position of the song kitkat supports low power audio playback so you will get more backup while you play audio this lock screen navigation is possible even when you stream a movie to a tv using google chromecast next feature of kitkat is the lock screen widgets in kitkat we can add lock screen widgets just swipe the lock screen there you will see a plus sign just tap on that plus sign and you can unlock the display now you can see a number of widgets such as calendar email digital clock gmail etc i'll select gmail widget by tapping on it and it shows my two google accounts which are configured in this tablet i'll select my first account and it shows various folders in the gmail such as primary social promotion etc i'll select my primary folder here it is i have created a widget of the primary folder of my first google account on the lock screen now i can check my mail without unlocking the device now we have come to the improved calling and messaging functions of kitkat with kitkat when a number not in your contacts calls you the phone will automatically check the number against the local listings using the google maps the new phone app automatically prioritizes your contacts based on the people you talk to the most in kitkat we have a new hangout app which stores all your sms mms hangout messages in the same place along with your other conversations and video calls so data is well organized and is easily accessible moreover you will also be able to share your location and animated gifs through hangouts the next feature of kitkat is the introduction of emoji icons i'll use the gmail application and i'm going to send a mail so i'll tap on compose sometimes words cannot express how you actually feel now we have special japanese characters called emoji with which you can communicate better and more effective manner we know that a picture is worth 1000 words so including such pictures with other characters can take the communication to a whole new level now let's see other useful enhancements in kitkat bluetooth now supports map or message access profile using which the android device can now communicate with a map enabled device for example your smartphone can communicate with your car kit through messages to carry out various tasks google now can be accessed by swiping the home screen rightward the tap to pay option allows you to make easy payments using google wallet or other apps using nfc so we have covered most of the major features of the latest android release from google if you like the taste of kitkat please don't forget to give me a thumbs up by hitting on the like button of this video subscribe to my channel and get back to me with your valuable comments thanks for your time